The Harvey Tech Podcast. Hello and welcome to another Harvey Tech Podcast. My name is Ralph, and I'm senior specialist for sales enablement at Harvey. For this podcast, I have invited Martin, who is key market manager, and he will tell us today the advantages of a closed fluid system. Hello, Martin. Nice to see you again. Yeah, hello, Ralph, and thank you for the invitation for today. Oh, of course, of course. Now, uh, today's topic is a closed hydraulic system, and of course, the advantages. Can you explain to us a little bit what actually is a closed hydraulic system? Yeah, first of all, we need to differentiate a little bit. Uh, so, we always speak of an hydraulic system when we offer the customer a complete. Uh, solution or package with a power unit with the necessary valve assembly, mm-hmm. with hoses or um, tubings and cylinders. But in a closed hydraulic or closed uh, fluid system, mm-hmm. we use the closed oil circuit. Okay. So this means that in hydraulics we differ between an open and a closed oil circuit. Okay. So let's talk about the closed circuit. Um, what is it and how does it work? Yeah, um, first of all, I think we start with the open circuit so it makes it easier <laughs> for the, to understand the closed circuit. Okay. So the open circuit, um, uh, here always the pump sucks the oil uh, directly from the reservoir. Mm-hmm. Uh, the well, uh, oil goes over a directional valve mm-hmm. to the uh, consumer yes and from the consumer over the uh, way valve backwards to the reservoir so uh, makes sense pretty pretty easy in a closed circuit um, the oil uh, coming or flowing backwards from the consumer mm-hmm. goes directly via the pump uh, to the consumer back again mm-hmm. so um, and it goes not via the the reservoir or uh, tank inside mm-hmm. so and typically we use uh, yeah or speaking of a four quadrant uh, mode uh, so four quadrant pumps like uh, internal gear pumps or gear pumps mm-hmm. uh, uh, piston pumps but also vein pumps uh, yeah different pumps are possible here right okay now I do know that uh, different cylinders have different surfaces and also a differential volume In addition, the pumps and consumers have internal leakage. How does the closed circuit handle that? Yeah, well, there are several ways uh, to compensate this uh, differential volume from A side to B side. But uh, one way is uh, to do it via check valves. So Mm -hmm. they are used as suction valves. So always uh, if I have a lack of oil or um, yeah pressure in uh, the the low pressure side mm-hmm. then um, the oil will get sucked via the um, uh, yeah check valve yes to this low pressure side. yes on the other hand there are also feed pumps available which then uh, or feed pumps used um, it always depends on the system and mm-hmm. yeah uh, itself and on the requirements then in the end Okay. Now, that was the theoretical basics. Um, Now, where are closed hydraulic systems actually used in practice? I think our audience would love to hear that. Yeah. Well, in in mobile hydraulics, uh, they are used, for example, in steering of vehicles. Mm -hmm. In stationary or industry hydraulic, uh, we have a a wide range of applications coming from uh, ejectors in injection molding machines, for example, mm-hmm. but also the main drives and presses okay. um, in different uh, performance ranges, but also in medical applications or mm-hmm. uh, even in automated guided vehicles, there are closed systems used. Okay. Now, you just mentioned a very wide range of applications, and uh, they certainly have different products uh, in the Harvey portfolio to cover these. Can you give us a few examples of the products? Yeah, well actually one is uh, our Eprex Max which we use in a, uh, as a main drive and press brakes for example, mm-hmm. but also for industry applications as I said we have our HS120 servo power unit. Okay. Um, yeah, and also we have our um, new Logar system for, um, yeah, as a plug-and-play system for automated guided vehicles. 
just a few product examples. Okay, well, that sounds very good, thank you. Now, the focus of today's topic is on the advantages of closed hydraulic systems. Uh, can you give me some examples of those advantages? Yeah, first of all, we have the energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. So, by eliminating these um, yeah, directional uh, spool valves, uh, we reduce the throttle losses at the valve. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, also another point is that we um, use a, in, in closed system, uh, we have a preloaded pressure, um, yeah, or hydraulic system in there. So the, the pump uh, sucking the oil is much faster. Um, mm -hmm. So acceleration, the acceleration ramps of the consumer uh, mm -hmm. can be reduced. And so we have less cycle times. Okay. Sounds good. Are there more advantages or was that it? Um, yeah, indeed. I have a few. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we also um, use um, less oil in such uh, closed hydraulic system. Okay. So, for example, our EPREX Max, as I said, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, works with only 18 liters in an application of 18. Uh, 18. Yes. Okay. Indeed. Uh, in a 110 ton uh, press brake. Mm -hmm. An open circuit, uh, also driven by a servo motor. Mm -hmm. um, open circuit uh, needs roughly 120 liter. Uh, yeah, oil Big volume. Difference. Yeah. Another point um, I don't want to miss is also uh, that we uh, can extend our um, oil change uh, yeah, intervals. Um, here or the, the operating hours, for example, mm -hmm. um, for this EPREX Max um, goes up to 15,000 hours. Always depends a little bit on the cycle, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, roughly the first 15,000 hours, there's no oil change needed. So. Okay. Sounds uh, pretty impressive. I was just doing the math in my head. Uh, it's 85% less oil in a hydraulic system. That's quite impressive. Now, I'm sure um, there are some critical points that need to be considered despite all these advantages. Could you name a few? Yes, they, they really do exist. So uh, no advantage without a disadvantage. <laughs> Unfortunately. <point. laughs> yes. So now, to be honest, um, um, the assembly and testing time in mm -hmm. our facility or in the um, company uh, is a more complex with a closed um, system, mm -hmm. but yeah, um, and in addition, also the the servicing uh, in the field outside there um, in a closed system is a bit more complex. Mm -hmm. For example, you need to fill an exact amount of uh, oil into a closed system. Right. But well, our service specialists are trained on this, and so we mm -hmm. offer this to the customer, so no need to worry about it. Sounds great. Anything else uh, you'd like to add or um, did we pretty much cover it? I think we had it. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, then let me um, just do a, a brief um, summary of yeah. what you said just to make sure that it all sunk in because this 85% still stuck <laughs> with ah, me okay. here. Um, so a closed hydraulic system usually works with a closed fluid circuit meaning that the oil flow out of the consumer is fed directly back to the consumer via the pump. Now, Javi, as you mentioned, offers solutions for mobile and industrial applications, as well as for medical applications. That was totally new to me. The advantages are energy savings, shorter cycle times, and which stuck with me, the lower oil quantities in the hydraulic system, which is one of Javi's contributions for sustainable future. Did I uh, get those points? Yeah, perfectly summarized, Rolf. <laughs> well, great. Then thank you very much for coming and sharing this interesting topic with all of us. Uh, thank you, our audience, for uh, listening and watching. And if you have any suggestions for future tech podcasts, then please send us an email to podcast at harvey.de. We'd love to hear from you. And until next time, um, thank you very much. I look forward to it. And Martin, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And yeah, hear you next time.